Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station whereby we are going to learn and interact together. We are going to have our biology from 4 lesson 9, and the, um, whereby your tutor will be me, Mr. Gerard. We are going to unlock the topic on uh, evolution, and the subtopic, the evidences of organic evolution. Remember in our previous lessons, we have um, looked at uh, several um, evidences of evolution, but here we are going to look at the evidence of organic evolution. I mean, there are so many theories which um, explain about evolution, one of them being organic evolution. So we are, here we are going to look at the evidences. The first evidence uh, we are going to look at will be what we uh, call um, fossil records. But before that, we are going to have the following lesson goals, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to give the evidences of organic evolution. The first evidence we are going to look at will be what we call the fossil records. Actually, in this... Um, uh, in his book, The Descent of Man, Charles Darwin proposed that human beings, which are homo sapiens, descended from ape-like creatures. Since then, scientists have been seeking evidence to support this theory. Despite uh, several archaeological discoveries of fossils, uh, the evolutionary history of the human species is still not well understood. The missing links with the ancestral apes is also being sought. We are familiar with the well-known discoveries of the primate skulls, uh, with the primate skulls and uh, skeletons of the Niki family in Tanzania and Kenya. Important discoveries have also been made uh, in Ethiopia. Archaeologists have attempted to draw an evol evolutionary history of human, uh, human using evidence of fossil records. This is a, that is the evolutionary pathway of hominids, which the scientists uh, normally use. Uh, using um, Actually, they have got that some evidences which they use to draw this uh, evolutionary pathway which include the uh, skeletal fragments, that is the skull, as well as using the cultural artifacts discovered with them, such as the primitive tools, and access the scraper, uh, broken pottery, and cave paintings. Generally, evolutionaries accept that hominid family to which we belong evolved from a primate stock. That is, uh, from this same stock, there, there arose the Pagidae family, which includes the anthropoid apes like the gorilla, chimpanzee, and uh, oragata. Let us look at the. I'm um, actually explaining the evolutionary uh, pathway. The earliest primate to have evolved is the proconsul, which lived about 20 million years ago in, uh, in Africa and later to spread to Asia, as you can see from our uh, diagrammatic presentation on our screen. It is supposed to have given rise to two divergent lines that is the, the pogidae and the omidae. The pogidae then gave rise to the present-day anthropoid apes, while the omidae gave rise to human species. Uh, actually, this is just a summary. The what we are seeing at the screen is just a summary of the evolutionary uh, nari, uh, process. Discoveries done at various sites now reveal that the earliest hominid could be the what we call the Cylodropus, dated to be seven million years ago. Fossils of this hominid were discovered in Chad in the year 2002. Another hominid, dated 6 million years uh, old, was discovered in Kenya, is still under study. The best known hominids appear to have belonged to the genus Astrodotithecus. It is, it is seen to have had an almost upright uh, gait, no evidence of culture. Uh, it has been associated with it. The genus Astrodotithecus emerged about 4 million years ago in East and South Africa. It is representatives discovered in, its representatives are uh, discovered in recent times by archaeologists, include what we call the Australopithecus anamensis, which has been uh, discovered from Lake Turukana, and also what we call the Australopithecus afarensis, which uh, Amalusi found in Ada, Ethiopia, which has, it has been dated uh, 3.6 million years ago. Australopithecus africanus, dated 3 million years ago, and Australopithecus robusta, dated 2 million years ago, both were found in South Africa. Uh, Zinjadropus boise, or the nutcracker man, dated 1.2 million years, was found in Adolvai Gorge. Adolvai Gorge is thought to be closely related to Astrobithecus robustus of South Africa. Zinjadropus came to an end about 1 million years ago. The genus Homo seems to have arisen about 2.5 million years uh, ago and lived at the same time as the genus Astrobithecus for a period between Astrobithecus died out. The oldest known species of the genus Homo recently discovered is what we call the Homo rudolfensis, dated um, 2.5 million years ago. 
Richard Leakey and Kamoya Kimeu discovered Homo habilis, or the handyman, dated 2 million years old at Kobifora on the eastern part of Lake Turkana. Uh, Homo erectus, or we say that is an upright man, seems to have emerged from Homo habilis about 2 million years ago. The Homo erectus have been discovered, have been discovered in Africa, Asia and also the Europe. In addition to tool making, there is evidence of use of fire and some mode of communal life um, and uh, that is communal life and work among the, um, uh, the erectors. Recently, the skeleton, the skeleton of Homo egaster, nicknamed the Turkana boy, has been dated 1.56 million years old. This is currently the fossil of our human ancestor with a most similar body plan to uh, the modern human beings. Fossils of archaic forms of human beings called the Homo heidelbergensis dated 700 years ago and Homo neanderthalensis dated 300 years ago have been discovered in uh, Germany. It is worth noting that the search for human ancestry is still ongoing. There are very many uh, specimens which have been discovered. It is apparent that there has been greatly diversity of human forms inhabiting the earth, sometimes concurrently. The human species, that is Homo sapiens, is characterized mainly by high intellectual capacity and the ab ability to focalize sound or communicate through language. However, intellectual capacity is not measured by brain size alone, but also by its complexity and utilization. Unlike its closest evolutionary relatives, the apes, Homo sapiens are able to express and, uh, moral judgments, develop ideas or rationalize and to express those by the complex system of communication, which is known as the language. The main structural differences between man and apes, actually they are very clear because um, actually uh, let us look at the several uh, scars here. So uh, actually the, the posture, that is the difference between the man and the posture, you can see the ape uh, it walk, walks on force while the human is upright. We have the brain capacity of um, humans is higher compared to the uh, compared to the apes. Having done and said that, we can have the following activity whereby you are required to explain fossil record as an evidence of organic evolution. Uh, for more of this uh, lesson, you can refer to KLB Secondary Biology Student Book Four, which is the fourth edition. And uh, to get more of our biology lessons, you can send us an SMS through the number that is on our screen or you subscribe to our YouTube channel or our Facebook page which are both Elim TV or you tweet at us uh, Elim TV underscore Kenya. Let us subscribe to all this channel and we shall enjoy our um, biology lessons. Thank you.